Hello guys, Armian here, and welcome to another episode of our Minecraft Engineer's Life series. And today, we're going to be diving into a, getting a little more electricity, as well as we're going to be making the metal press. So let's go ahead, and let's get started. So, since the last episode, I actually did a little bit of road work and stuff like that around this area. So I wanted to go ahead and show it off before we get started here today. As you can see, I added a... Well, crap ton of roads. I did a bunch of road stuff. I added a bit of a lake or whatever, or whatever you want to call it, right here. And I tried playing around with like custom trees using fences. I'm not 100% sold on these, but I think they turned out okay. At least they add a little bit of personality to the area. And obviously we went around, we added a bunch of like fences and stuff like that, and like little bushes and all that. I have this here as open up because I'm planning on putting a pathway going through here. Like I said, I might put like a sawmill or something over this way. And over here I have my cauldron, so I'll probably have another path going over here. Yeah, I also decided to throw this little bridge and stuff in here just because... Well, if you take a look at the area, just it looks really flat, so I just wanted something to make it look less flat, basically. But yeah, I added this here. This goes over this way, and, well, we have a nice little waterfall down here, as well as another little kind of pond area. Looking pretty nice. Yeah, that's all I did off camera. I will probably be doing a lot more after this episode, more than likely. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's get into what we're going to be doing today. So there's a few things that I can start off here today with. So first off... I found out using my old windmill thing I had hooked up to the stick I had there, I can actually upgrade that to make it like faster and produce more power that I did not know about. So I'll probably go ahead and do that maybe, but there's another thing though. Although that does spin faster, windmills are kind of awful if I'm going to be honest for producing like power and stuff like that from when I was playing around with it. I'll probably use this just for like my saws and stuff like that, so maybe I won't bother upgrading it. But I might still do it just so that way it also spins faster and that might look better. So I might upgrade it just for that reason alone, but right now I'll leave it how it is and we are going to be building some water wheels. That's what we're going to be doing for power generation. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is... I'm going to cut out a big area out of this mountain, like right here. So, the way water wheels kind of work is basically you can stack them three next to each other to produce more power, stuff like that. And then you just have like the kinetic dynamo thing, like how we were getting electricity or IF before. Set that right there, have it go into the water wheels, then sneak the power through like a one block gap, like right here. To come outside and run it to our machines and stuff like that. But yeah, I have to do a lot of digging. Another thing I have to do is since I haven't dug into a slime chunk, um, water wheels right here, they require this here, which requires slime or other slime type stuff. Anyway, it requires slime, and I don't have that much slime. I'm pretty much out. And for the amount of water wheels I'm thinking I might want to make, um, I'm gonna need a lot more slime balls, so luckily, get onto the map here, we do have a swamp way over here, so I'm gonna have to go over this way and farm up a few slime balls throughout the night, and then we'll be able to get started on making this water wheel thing. I just got a lot of digging ahead of me though, but luckily, these picks are amazing, this pick is amazing, and all that, so th that shouldn't take too much time at all. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wait till nighttime and start collecting up a bunch of slime balls and stuff. And you know what? I should pro I'm gonna make a new weapon before I do that. Yeah, before I head over there, I'm gonna make a new weapon. Oh, I thought it was gonna have to be a full moon, but can you hear it, guys? Okay, he's not making a sound now that I want you guys to hear. Okay, that's usually how it is. Alright. Just my luck. Okay, he's stuck under a tree. Come on over here. There is that creeper there as well. I should have brought some torches for lighting. 
There we go. Two hit killed that guy. Man, this is a nice sword. Okay, let's get that slime. Come here, little buddy. Come here, boogers. There we go. Okay, guys, so I just kind of noticed something. Basically, my sword has this ability on it. It's called launch. And every so often, when I hit an enemy, let's see if I can get it to happen here. Yeah, it launches them way up in the air, and then they smash into the ground. That is just great. I love that. It seems to happen, like, every second hit almost, which is... That is just hilarious. I love that. But yeah, slime hunting is going decent. We got 17 slime. Look at that, zombie. Get frickin' launched. Oh, I love that ability. That's so fun. Yes, I'm definitely glad I made this blue uh, sapphire sword or whatever it was. Just for that ability alone. Hello, slime. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Getting cornered. <laughs> They're all- they're coming from all around us, frick. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. Oh no, it's a boss slime! Look at that! Holy crap, a boss slime! What will I ever do? Ooh. Well, that was an easy enchanted book. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was an easy enchanted book. What did we get? Power three, nice. Pog. And we didn't have to do hardly a thing. Okay, so I didn't notice this because of how dark it was, but we have a witch's hut right here. So we could make like a witch farm. That means we could get like free redstone and I think glowstone and stuff as well. Man, that's kind of lucky. Only main problem is there's a lot of land around here. I'd have to clear out a lot of land to get it to work really well. And caves as well. But the option's there if we happen to need it. Alright guys, so went ahead, got everything together, got the kinetic dynamos, the water wheels, ready to set this thing all up now. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start building this thing, and then I'll be back when I'm done, and I'll show you how it looks. There we go, last bucket of water, let's block this off. Perfect, and I guess I'll close this off. Oh, don't put that in there. Uh, no, I don't have enough cobble, never mind, I'll close it off later. Right now though, we are done. At least for the first one, because we're going to have to make more of these, probably. I think I might make two more once I'm able to. But yeah, with this here, the combined power of all, what, six of these water wheel things in here. We have another one right up there. We're able to power one of those. Yeah, just one. Just one. I've tried it with two. It's just barely enough for two. Like, it can't handle two, but I think if we built one more of those, we definitely could. We'd probably power something else as well then. But yeah, we have enough to power at least this right here. If we had a second one of these on, we won't be able to power it though. Alright, so I guess I'll go ahead and I'll pretty this area up a little bit more later once I build like one or two more maybe, or I can at least make this side look a little bit better. I'm not going to put it any more like over this way because... Yeah, my house is right there. But yeah, all I need to do right now is just wire everything up. So I just need to put something on there as well as on the one up here and bring the wires out. And then link it up with that stuff over there. I may end up just moving that entirely. But we'll see. We will see. Right now though, that is good enough. I will probably build a bit more because I do want to get more into the machines and stuff like that. At least for this episode. I think I'll go ahead, I'll build some more. This thing here looked pretty neat. I want to build one of these as well. I'll look at that in just a little bit. But yeah, I think I'll move all this stuff over that way and keep all the stuff that needs power like closer to this here. But yeah, I'll go ahead and do that, move this stuff around, get all this wired up, and we'll see how it runs. That's good enough for now. That's coming on outside there. And now I'll move the blast furnace over here and we'll have it getting powered. It'll be pretty nice. Then we can look into whatever machine we can go for next. Like I said before, I'd like to get to this thing down here. I want to get to that. Probably won't be able to today, but we'll see. We will see. We got to start crafting up some of this stuff here first, though. And that requires a lot of plates. Yeah. I did a lot of mining, so hopefully I have enough stuff, but I get the feeling with how pricey the plates are, 
I'm gonna run out pretty quickly here. And I think, if I remember correctly from watching other people, with this here, you can make, yeah, the metal uh, press mold plate or whatever. And that makes it so I think only one ingot is used up per plate will be a lot better than two, especially with how much I'm actually making. So I want to get to that as quickly as I can. Pretty sure that's how that worked anyway. Yeah, we'll go ahead. I need to get to this and for this. What do I need for that? Oh, that's pretty cheap. That's easy to make, actually. Okay, nice. But I definitely need some of these. I think those might have been in this as well. Yes, they were. Okay. Alright, nice. Okay, so at least I have a... Uh, I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. Oh, let's sleep. Okay, we got the blast furnace all set up here. Let's go ahead. Let's throw that stuff in. And not coal. We want charcoal. Yes. Now, I don't know if that's faster. Is this being used? Wow, that's like... If that's being used, that's like... Rate... Like... Perfect. Like, completely perfect. Using up just as much as it's producing. Um... Alright, alright, cool. So we definitely need a few more of these. I can't tell if it's like faster or not though. This is pretty slow before, like it was really slow. Like the first one was really slow and this one was also really slow. At least when, um... At the very least when, you know, it was without one of these. I don't know if it's faster or not though. It, might be? It's been a long while since I actually looked at one of those. But yeah, if I set up a second one of these here, this wouldn't be able to power it, but... If I do another one of these right here, then I think it should be able to power like two of these things going into this. That should make uh, steel production a bit more faster. Although, to be honest, I don't think steel's too big of a requirement right now. Yeah, it's like mostly iron and copper for that stuff. Now for the heavy one here, I'll probably, yeah, I'll need steel for that. And other steel stuff. So I do need a little bit, but not a whole lot. So honestly, this is good enough for now. A little bit of a speed upgrade. At least I'm assuming that's what it does. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on anything. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's start questing towards... This stuff, I really want to get this. And also, uh, with the engineer's workbench, with the gun we've uh, not found, but all the pieces and stuff that I threw together, I don't remember where I put it. It's somewhere in this huge mess I call organization. Ah, it's right there. Okay, nice. But anyway, we'll actually be able to start making ammo, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure the guns and gun ammo was made at this bench. But anyway... Uh, I'll go ahead, we'll get started on that stuff, making some of these, some of these, and then we'll get this, and then we'll go down and grab this stuff right here. I want to get one of these really badly. Holy crap, guys, it has been a little while since the last clip, actually. That was, uh, before Christmas, this is now after Christmas. Got our nice Christmas present chests up and everything now, and as you probably already saw there, Got a nice Christmas hat here as well. Look at that beautiful thing. But yeah, a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, all that kind of stuff. I hope you had a good one. Now this video is going to be out pretty late after Christmas, but so happy late holidays and Christmas and stuff. But yeah, I think I remember. I think I remember what I was doing last. Um, What I had to do or was trying to do, we were trying to make this metal press thing. Now there's a few things I had to make. First thing I had to make was this thing here. I need to make this, but for this we need this uh, thermonic or something like that. I don't know. It's probably pronounced that way. Fabricator. And that's not too hard to make by the looks of it. Like nickel plates and stuff. I should be able to do that. We also need rubber, which is made at the industrial centrifuge. Both of those are pretty easy to craft. I do believe it's just over here. We need to make some sturdy casing things for them. And then we just make the centrifuge there. Pretty easy. Sturdy casing. And copper and glass. It's all you need. And the fabricator thing. That there. Yeah, just some glass, some gold, 
and 30 casing as well. Yeah, that'll be easy. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get those things all crafted up. Get started on that sort of quest tree or whatever there. And I will be back. Okay, so I got both of the things all crafted up now. We got the centrifuge and we have this thing here. And by the looks of it, place this down here. Looks like we need like power or something like that. RF. So I don't know if this is going to work. Because this is... Does it tell me anywhere? Right here, this is IF, is what it says there. So I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to try hooking it up. Does this require that as well? Yes, it does. It might be like a different type of power, maybe? I don't know, I'll try this first. I'll try just connecting this here first. So I'll just steal that real quick. Go ahead, I'll just take this. There we go. And let's just... Try connecting it. It doesn't look like it had like a connection point or anything. And it doesn't really say if it has like, if it's like, wait, that's a stored. Is, that, is it storing stuff then? I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. Hold on. I bet you if I break it, it'd reset it, right? Hold on. Um... Wasn't really paying attention there, so let's see. Okay, so it was working. All right, nice. So this does work. Perfect. That makes things a little bit easier. There we go. Shock myself a little bit. Yeah, here we go. So I think what we do is we just put sap in there, which we can get from chopping down, for sure, the rubber trees. I think that's where I got a lot of sap from before. Now it's just a question of where in the heck did I put it? And there might be more somewhere, I'm not too sure. But that should be more than enough for what I need it for. So let's go ahead. I think I just toss it in there and yeah, it starts doing things. Okay, perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Now, how much rubber do we get per sap? I'm guessing it's one for one. Two rubber per piece of sap. It takes three rubber to make a conveyor belt that we need for the metal press there. So that'll be easy to do. The rest of that's all easy. So for the next thing, uh, let me go back to this. So for this stuff here, um, I think I can get this stuff easily. Did I need this for anything? Okay, that's also easy. That's just normal glass, right? Yes, okay. And then iron and green dye. I don't have green dye, but I think it might be easy to come by. Um. What else do I need? What else do I need for this? So this here, this needs to be done in the fabricator thing. That's easy. I just hope I have nickel. I might have to make it. I feel like that's probably an alloy, right? I probably have to make nickel out of two things. We'll see. But yeah, that should be easy. And what else was there? Yeah, I just looked at that. Yeah, that's it. What about you? That's just crafting, right? Okay. So that'll be easy. Just got to get everything for this. And we'll be good. We will be good. So, um, one thing I do have to point out. So, when I was using this here, it was always at a constant, like, power thing or whatever. I wasn't paying too much attention to this stuff here, so I feel like maybe if I upgrade the wiring type, like, this is low voltage cables. I wonder if I can, like, if it actually produces more power. Like, it'll send more power, not waste as much, and get it to there and stuff empower that better. I'm kind of curious. I want to try using different wiring types because I know there's medium voltage, high voltage. What we're using is low voltage. I might swap these out and see if this is producing more power. It's just these cables are crap. I'm going to test that out later. But for right now, let's get this thing made. Let's make this metal press. And with that, we have everything we need now. So just got to follow this and build the thing. Sure, I got my hammer on me. Yep. I think I got everything else on me as well, it looks like. I think I got the piston. Yes, I do. Okay, I think I got everything. We'll just build this over here for now, like everything else. Since this is where the power is at, we'll change it up later. So let's take a look. So how do I want to build this? So, okay. I think I got it memorized. All right, let's give this a shot. So it's like this, this. This was down here. You had heavy machining, not light. Right there? 
And I think it's like, no, this has got to face down. Come on. No. Yeah, I'm just going to double check. I don't know if that's a block up. No, it wasn't. Okay. Hopefully the direction doesn't matter. So let's go ahead. Let's whack this thing. No. Where do I whack it? These might be directional. Hold on. I could have sworn that's what I had to do. Okay, give me one second here. That is indeed what I did. Okay. I wonder if it's because I have it up against the wall. Hold on. Maybe these blocks here are messing with it a bit. Okay, let's get rid of that. There we go. Now let's try clicking it. Yeah, those were just messing with it a bit. All right, nice. Nice, so now we can connect this thing up. I'm gonna go sleep. Gotta sleep. Yeah, now we just gotta connect that up to the electricity. I'll grab my aster, whatever it is, this thing. Press plating. Press plate. Yeah. Grab that thing. Now I think it just requires one ingot per thing, I believe. Place that there. Now I see the thing on there. Okay. Yeah, so we connect there on top. All right, gotcha. So we connect this electricity stuff up to the top here. I hope we have enough to like do this. Hopefully. I might have to upgrade like my wires and stuff to like medium or something like that. We'll see. Okay. Looks like it's filling up. Let's see how well it does. I'll go get some... I'll do copper plates. Copper seems to be a really common plate type I need. So let me just go ahead. I'll grab... Two, three, four. We'll just do four. Just a small amount. Let's see how much we get. So I think... Uh, don't jump into the electrical cords, kids. Just throw that there. There's one. Yeah, it does one for one. Nice. That's awesome. That's what I was hoping. And we definitely have e enough electricity for it. Man, I was, wor I was so worried about like electricity and stuff. Like the IF and all that stuff. Because when I tried this, this required so much of it. But like this here is barely using a thing. And same with these. I was so worried about it just because of this thing. But no, it looks like that is enough for quite a bit of stuff actually. That did pretty well. Alright, but yeah. One for one now. That's going to cut back costs quite a bit. So like before we were doing two pieces of iron or two pieces of copper per plate. Now it's just one for one. That's cutting the cost in half now. Like before a stack would get us 32. Now it's only, it's going to get us exactly a stack. That is awesome. That's going to make life a lot more easier for us right there. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I might go ahead and upgrade my wires here uh, before the next episode because it's actually kind of cheap to be honest if I look some stuff up here. So for medium voltage wires it's just this um, Electrum which isn't too hard to make at all. I'll show you how to do that. So Electrum I'll just go back on there. Go here look at this it's basically just silver and gold in the alloy kiln there. You can easily make some of the Electrum stuff, you get two of it, so that is pretty nice. And let's see, what was it for this stuff here now? Just iron, that's pretty easy. That's also really easy, so yeah, I might do that. And for high voltage, the high voltage stuff is just steel wire, which is just cutting steel plates, same as the copper there. And also aluminum, now aluminum, I had to look this up, but it's that, I think it's pronounced bauxite or something like that. This stuff here, B-A-U-X-I-T-E, bauxite, I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, I'll probably maybe do high voltage as well, we'll see. And it doesn't cost a whole lot, it's just the aluminum stuff. And yeah, that's pretty easy. Although, looking at it, after all the mining I've done, apparently I only found 58 bauxite, so... Maybe I'll just do medium for now and we'll upgrade it later on. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to upgrade those um, by the next episode. And uh, man, I'm so good at this. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're new and you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button. Helps me out tremendously and it's free. 
But anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys. I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a good week.